Now, what are the things that you thank God for in your life? I don't want you to answer yet. There may be an opportunity for you in just a few minutes to. But what are the things that, that we just go, God, this is, this is the thing that means the most to me. Or this is the many things that mean so much to me. The scripture we're going to look at in just a few minutes talks about some of the seasons of life. But everything that's listed in there, as I told you, are things that we can be thankful for. So in preparation for that understanding that is yet to come potentially, and the epiphany that I had even this morning thinking about those verses as I was laying in bed before I got up. The song that I want you to turn to right now is a song that you may or may not know. It's a song that says, for all that you've done, I say thank you. And everything under heaven, every good thing, every God thing comes down from the Father of lights, James tells us. I want to teach you this song if you don't know it. And remember that if you're trying to learn a song, the best way to learn it is what? Sing it loud. <laughs> And you'll learn it much more quickly that way. The song goes like this. For all that you've done, I say thank you. For all that you're going to do. For all that you promised and all that you are. Is all that has carried me through. Jesus, I thank you. And I thank you, thank you, Lord. And I thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving and setting me free. Thank you for giving your life just for me. How I thank you, Jesus, I thank you. Thing that he's done. Sing it one more time. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I didn't. I don't know if this is on. I don't know if you have the recording on yet or not. But I didn't want people to miss this. Uh, that that might be viewing this on on the YouTube and things. But listen, I did a funeral yesterday. I'd have a funeral tomorrow for Miss Jeter. The funeral I did yesterday for a man named Charles Cook. They call him Red. Guess why? No, he had red blood. <laughs> no, he was redheaded. You're right. Uh, he, he was redheaded. But I got to walk through his life. And, and as I learned about those things, as I do whenever I'm putting funerals together, I talk to family and I talk to friends and all those things. And we put together a story. But when I did this, I stood before those people yesterday. And I said, it's wonderful that this week, and I said, this sounds weird to start off a funeral this way. But this week is Thanksgiving because this is a Thanksgiving service. And when we do a funeral service, isn't that right? You know, as your good friend, good friend of, of theirs, good friend of Gene Kelly's. Listen, when we celebrate life, even in the midst of sorrow, which is a gift from God that we'll see in a second. When we celebrate life, it is a thanksgiving service. There are things that you can be thankful for. And you go, well, how can you be thankful when you're at a funeral? Because that's exactly what we're supposed to do. For all that you've done, I say thank you. If you have loved ones that are on the other side in glory, even now, thanking God for the opportunity to get to walk together and then rejoice in the fact that we have a reunion yet to come. So I just picked one of the worst case scenarios when a mate goes, goes home to be with the Lord that you think, how can I go on living? I go on living not only because I'm supposed to on behalf of the Lord. That's what they would want me to do. And I've got a job still here on this earth. But I thank God for every day that we got spent spend together. Uh, Red and his wife, uh, Runel, had 59 years together. And she wished it was 60 or 70 or 80. But the fact was they had 59 Listen, we have a lot to be thankful for. I, I wanted you to take an example of someone who was able to thank God yesterday for a life, even in the midst of sorrow. I want you to take out your mind and take out your life and say, Lord, for all the things that have gone on, I say thank you today. Let's sing it together. Remember, this is not to me or to any audience. You are not the audience. God is. For all that you've done, I say thank you. Thanksgiving is to the Father. Oh, for all that you've done, I say thank you. For all that you're going to do. 
For all that you promised and all that you are is all that has carried me through. Jesus, I thank you. And I thank you. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you. I thank you, I gratefully thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I just realized, and we're going to sing this one more time, but I realized that there was a little bit of a gloom over the audience today. Do you feel it? You feel it today? Jack, could you do me a favor? Or BJ, turn on all those light switches that are right next to you there. It's done. Whew. Now it's so much better. There was one light switch that was missing, and it changed the whole room. <laughs> I want us to sing this one more time. Now with the light on in your life and in this room, <laughs> let's sing it together one more time. Do you feel better now? There's something different. Whoever's job it is to make sure lights are on, Make sure all the lights are on next Sunday. We'll hit it from the beginning. Oh, okay, take a deep breath. Sit up straight. We're giving this back to the Father. For all that you've done, I say thank you. For all that you're going to do. Everything. For all that you promised and all that you are is all that has carried me through. Jesus, I thank you. Thank you, and I thank you, thank you, Lord, and I thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving and setting me free. Thank you for giving your life just for me. How I thank you, Jesus, I thank you. I gratefully thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you for loving, thank you for loving and setting me free, thank you for giving your life just for me, how I thank you, Jesus, I thank you, I gratefully thank you. 